Welcome to tutorial number 167. In this tutorial, we are going to continue talking about the sheet metal features. And now we will talk about the next section after the gasset, the cuts section, which include extruded cut, simple hold, and vent. And we'll see the differences in the extruded cut for the sheet metal and the simple hold. And then we'll have a look at some design library events kind of ready cuts and then the most important part in this tutorial the vent options we will have a look at the vent feature options which include the geometry properties blue area ribs sparse fill in boundary and we will cover these options in one example So start a new part and make a custom beam. Pick the front plane, line, and we'll make this shape. This is defined with some dimensions. And here we'll have an angle one. 20 there midpoint so we have this side perpendicular to the base edge and here we have an angle extruded with a sheet metal base make a thickness of one milli the bend radius key factor 0.38 click ok let's make it a little bit wider so now let's try to make a cut in that edge so select this face start a sketch normal to and let's make a rectangle over here and define it so we have a rectangle and we are going to make an extrude cut through this sheet metal. Go to sheet metal, extrude cut, and for now nothing is new. We already know about the extrude cut, and you have the arrow over here, and you have a second direction, and so on. Click OK. Return back to the cut extrude edit feature, and now we would like to see the difference between the normal extrude cut and see what is additional when we are cutting through a sheet metal. Here, if you notice, you will have length to thickness. So if you click on that the cut will be only through that so if we just uncheck direction 2 the depth of the cut will be the same as the thickness of the sheet metal so this is one thing and another option let's now click through all and cut through the second side and click through all and normal cut is unchecked click ok you will notice that the cut over here is not perpendicular to the surface over here and it is not as the most of the cut because if you flatten the part you will see the cut here with an angle and in reality mostly the punch gives you 
straight cut similar to the cut in the first edge so we can fix this if you edit here and check normal cut so it will give you a straight cut through the edge open perpendicular to the sheet if you flatten and look again so this cut here is more logical unflattened so we saw the two differences in the extrude cut so now let's move to the next is simple hole so simple hole because as we know in the sheet metal you'll have only a hole there will be no special holes for screws or so on so you can create the simple hole directly in the sheet metal and here you can make the diameter change the diameter and the depth of the cut and here you can check the face if you would like to have it perpendicular to that face so just clear the selection and you have the draft option as well Now I will talk about the design library vents or cuts. So to locate them, go to the design library, features, and here you will see sheet metal. And over there you will see many cut shapes. For example, we can pick this one and drag it, drop it directly on, on the surface. And once you drop that on surface, we will get the cut directly. And to the left here, you have the ability to edit sketch. If you go to the sketch over there, let's make it normal too. So smart dimension, we can add dimension over there. We can make it 10 and from this side, this side, 10. And also you can change on the dimensions of this shape. You can make it 1.5 one, one and this will make it for when you are done click finish and you will get this shape so again let's pick another sheet metal feature this time we can try this shape and place it over there and if you want to change the size, override the main dimensions. Make it normal too. And this one we can make it two. And this one we can make it one. And B can make it ten. So you have the chance to override the dimension values and we can edit the sketch as well add dimensions Make it 40. When you are done, click finish.
Now I will talk about the next feature and the most important feature in this tutorial, the event feature over there. And it is an interesting feature, very nice to use and time saving. And I will show you how to use it with an example. We will make a ventilation grill. Start a new part. This time we will make a circular ventilation grill. Go to the top plane, draw a circle, and give it a dimension of 150 millimeter, sheet meter. We have the values from the previous part. Click OK, and here you have this sheet metal disc. So we will draw a sketch. If you pick the print feature, you will read a message over there that you need a 2D sketch. So let's make 2D sketch. Select that face, start a sketch, normal 2. We will make the boundary circle of that grill and let's give it 125 and we will make lines the lines of the grills or the ribs and this line you can linear pattern select Pattern it on direction. Here we have six pattern. Look okay and repeat the same process on the other side. Click okay. And to support the ribs, we can make one rib in the center, or it called spar. Let's make a line here, and another line for testing over here. And we can add extra support the ribs in the center over there. We can make another inside circle and make it third. Sketch trim. Okay. And now go to sheet metal, vent, and you will see the vent. We already select your sketch. So the boundary, as we said, the outside boundary of the grid is the circle, and the feature will directly create this hole, and the face is the top face over there and we will look later on the plate on the draft the area is cut at 100% so the flow is 100% now we can decrease that when we are making when we will make the ribs the ribs you can make them directly by selecting the line so you notice how easy to work with the event feature. And here you have only one option is activated is the width of the rib. The reason because on the sheet metal because it is 
a plate with sheet metal and we don't have a solid feature. We will see later in another example how to use the rest of the option. But for now you have five millimeter and you can change it to three. And you'll notice now we have 71% fluid area. And if you think groups need some support, you can add sparse the line in the middle. And as well, we can increase the width 5 millimeter 50 or 5 and make it 10. And then we can fill in boundary, adding some extra support. Now this is select as far, delete and fill in boundary, be this circle. And for the sparse, we added this line as it is if you want to add more support to the ribs you can select this line but for now I will remove it so here you have the basic shape of the grill and now to make it looks better we can add fillets to the edges Go to the fillet and can add two millimeter fillet, and you notice the fillet is applied to the grill. Now it looks okay. When you are done, click OK. Two more holes to fix this grill. Here is another grill made by the vent feature. So this is a plastic grill and I will go over the steps how I made this. Since it is a plastic grill, it is outside the scope of this series. But if you would like to see how it's made in details, I will put the link in the description below. If you go again to the vent feature, here, the vent can be used for sheet metal and for plastic ventilation units. So, this one is made by plastic. Um, we'll show you how it's made first. We extruded this plastic plate, and here is the main sketch. And then we use the ventilation feature to make the grid. And here I wanted to show you what we said before. When we are working with plastic parts, the rest of the options will be activated. So we have the depth here is activated. And it was not the same in the sheet meter. We saw that the depth is grayed out and here is the plastic part we added as well a draft so it would be easier 
for injection molding, apply the draft with one degree angle and affiliate 0.5 millimeter. The advantage of this plastic that we have a high open area because we made the ribs stronger by increasing the depth of the rib and which we can see over there. We have 20 and if you click 10, you can notice. You can change the way you would like and let's make back again 20. And instead of making the rib wider and decrease the flow area, we can make it, we can increase the depth and that will increase the strength of the grid. So we have almost 77% of an area. And the same thing with sparse, you have the depth value is activated, which you can have increase it or decrease it. So this is the main point of this grill and then we made a cut to remove the extra materials. So here is the grill, it looks nice and all is done in just few steps with the vent feature.